Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Mr. Adams and this is video number three in my series on Photopea Basics. Photopea is a fantastic free alternative to Photoshop and it is what we will be using in my classes to develop our graphic design skills. This video will be very simple. It is simply showing you how to save your graphic designs in two different formats. As a JPEG, sorry, three different formats. As a JPEG, as a PNG, and as a PDF. Okay, so let's start. In this video, in this, in this particular photo PN, we created our Lady Gaga text. We edited it. We did so many awesome things during the last video, and now we are ready to save it. So, to save on Photopea is very simple, but necessary. If you close this window, if you hit X on this window and close it before saving your, your graphic design, it will be lost forever. So make sure you save your stuff. So, to save your file, you simply go to File. In the upper left-hand corner, the first option in the menu bar, click it. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says Export. Export. Then you're going to choose the graphic format that you want. PNG, JPEG, or PDF are going to be the ones we're working with today. Okay. PNG is fantastic because if you have a transparent background, it allows your that transparent background to remain transparent. JPEG is the common format used for photographs. So if you have a photograph, when you take your photos on your phone, they are known as a JPEG image. And if you want your image to be a JPEG, you will save it as a JPEG. And finally, PDF is that uh, file viewer format. It's a lot of documents or PDFs, uh, a lot of contracts, uh, etc. or PDFs, and flyers tend to be PDFs. So if you are creating something that's going to be printed, um, if you're going to be saving something that is going to... Uh, is like a file, a document, that is when you'll use PDF. But for this, for this, we're going to use a JPEG. So if you click any of these, the Save for Web window opens, and you simply click Save. And depending on your computer, it may ask you where do you want to save it, or it may automatically download, as mine just did. If, you, if it automatically downloads, to make sure it's in a place where you can... Uh, easily find it, and you know where it is, just click on the carrot option right here, the little carrot and this little menu will pop up. Click show in folder. It will show you your saved graphic in the folder that it saved it, and then you just move it to where you want it to be. Click and drag. I want it to be in my pictures, so, that, so therefore I'm going to put it in my pictures. The same exact process is followed with PNG or PDF. Okay. Now let's say you are in the middle of a design and you, you have to close your uh, window but you don't want to stop what you're doing. Very simple. You're going to save it not as a PNG, not as a JPEG, not as a PDF, but as a PSD. PSD allows is a file that allows you to open up in Photopea and have all, everything exactly where you want it to be and you just follow that same format show and folder, move to an area that you know where it is. Okay, I went to pictures. Let's say that I, I accidentally closed this window. Oops, I accidentally closed this window. Well, because I saved it as a PSD, I can go open from computer and find my file, which I saved in pictures. I'm gonna go to the, look for the PSD file. Here it is, Adams P1 PSD, double click. It will open and give it a sec. Boom. And you see I still have my layers, nothing is flat, I can still make edits to it just as I was. So the PSD file is the Photopea uh, file that allows it to save and you can reopen the project as you need. All right? That is it my friends, we're good to go for this video, you have a good day, I'll see you in video 4. Adios!